As defensive coordinator Brad Wilson and head coach Kurt Mallory meet with all the staff, yes, they are thrilled. Five Sycamores were named to the second team preseason All-Missouri Valley Football Conference team. But they know everyone understands, including the five Sycamores. Preseason awards mean nothing. And honors are nice, but they really don't mean anything, and that's the approach they've taken. You know, it's all about postseason and where you end up. And uh, they've got a great approach. It's about the team, and they know anything that, that's important comes after the season. Those guys are they're guys that they understand that 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 the things that they've done on the field and the, and the things they've done individually, we need them to be great players because in order for us to be what we want to be as a unit, they've got to be they've got to be great for us. You know, and and I think that they understand that. So they they embrace the honor, but at the same time, they understand that, that, that we got a long way to go, and they can't. Can't let that get in the way of what we're trying to accomplish as a unit. We heard from Cottrell Moss day one about being back on the field after missing all of spring. You think maybe there'd be a little rust? <laughs> it's laughable. Heck no. He wasn't out. I mean, mentally he was sharp. He was into it. And we were able to do some footwork stuff, keep him sharp mentally. And he was into it. And it wasn't that I'm hurt and I'm gonna I'm just gonna watch practice. No, I'm gonna be in practice, and that's how he approached it, and it's carried over the way he put his uh, mind to it and how he's worked this summer. Jonas Griffith, I think you maybe have heard his name before, big number 46. Now it's time for Jonas to make that next step, and it's clear to the coaches what that next step is. For him, I think is 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 to rally the guys around him and make sure that. When he's on the field, everybody's better, and you know the great ones have a, have a way of of not necessarily having to demand it with words, but just the way they play, the way they go about their business every single day. And I think that his his next step is to bring guys along with him, and he's done that. You know, him and Control both, and and I think that that's the thing that that you that you like most about him is they're extremely selfless. They see him doing it, and when they speak, they listen. You know, and, and you're exactly right. Your actions speak louder than words. But, you know, when they speak, they got the respect. And just to keep doing that. I mean, they can grab a guy and say something to him. I mean, that means, that means the world. And those two guys talking and being more vocal has really helped that side of the ball. There are areas to like all around the defense with guys who are back for another year who have experience, but also tons of young talent starting to prosper early in fall camp. I think when you you know starting up front, obviously as always, uh, you know some of the guys that have come out the, the last couple of days. Now today, obviously, is the first day we've been in pads. So for those guys up front, they've just been kind of running around in pajamas the last couple of days, and, and it was nice to get them to get them out there popping today. So I mean, Tier Turner's had a couple of good days for us. Uh, Dylan Holler's a tough kid that we know as he goes inside is is going to continue to grow and learn. Bryce Love we're continuing to bring along. Uh, the young linebackers have done a great job. They're getting a lot of repetition right now. Clayton's been a great addition. You know, uh, we're moving him to an outside side linebacker position. We didn't have him in the spring, had him all summer in workouts. Uh, knew we thought we had a really good player, but he's really shown some really good things. Matthew Thompson has really done a good job for us. Very active, played for us last year at times on special teams. So we've been real pleased with those, with those two. And then you go into the back end and you look at those corners, uh, Nehemiah Montague, uh, Dwayne Thompson, and Jake Bain, all three of them have just been kind of thrown into the fire with the twos, some with the ones a little bit today. And the biggest thing that you notice about them is how competitive they are. The, the expectation is that you're going to prepare to play and, and we'll sort itself out from there. So those guys have all done a great job competing. And then Ty Hambright is a safety that, that uh, you know, from Bishop Lures in Fort Wayne, that's, that's obviously a great program. And so he understands the importance of preparation and the way we practice. And he's also doing some good things out here for us. So Montague's done a great job. Uh, he's a young man we, we got from Minnesota, from the Minneapolis area. And he, I, we love his energy and his activity. I mean, he just loves to play. It's contagious. When you have guys like that, it just grows on you. Uh, Dwayne Thompson's another young man that's been doing some really good things out there. Uh, we've been really pleased with him. You know, Khalif Copeland at the safety position, and you know, obviously we talked about Denzel Bonner. You know, I really like his addition back there and, and the leadership he's providing. For complete coverage on Sycamore football in fall camp, you know where you should go because you've watched to this point. Right here at GoSycamores.com.